Good morning, everyone. So uh, it's a pajama day, at least until I can wrap up some of my most pressing projects, and then I'll actually go get ready for my day. But I have a dubbing project that is a bit complicated, so I figured it would be helpful to make a video so you can kind of figure out how you're going to work through these types of projects. So whenever it comes to dubbing, you have a couple different types of dubbing. You have dubbing for anime, where you're just matching your voice to the mouth flaps, as they call it. And it's really more of just like getting the words out in time. And that's also very similar to if you're dubbing for like a foreign film or something like that. You're really uh, paying attention to the actor's emotion more in film than you are in anime. In anime, you just kind of bring whatever emotion is most natural and that you would normally put with that character. But with film, you want to make uh, sure that you're kind of paying attention to their emotions and their energy and getting the words out within the time that they get their words out. And the most difficult type of dubbing, at least that I find, is when you're dubbing to your own language because now your words have to line up exactly with the way that their mouth is moving because people are going to expect that these words are actually coming from their mouth, especially if they're speaking in the same language as you. So that is the project that I have today. It's a bit of a doozy and we're going to work through it together. Let's see. So this is the, uh, the video that I'm going to be dubbing to. So what you're going to want to do is pull up your script on one side of the screen, and then this is going to be a lot of repetitive uh, motions and actions. So you're going to listen through the video. Okay, I have already watched through this video. I actually recorded this entire video yesterday and realized that somehow my microphone didn't hook up to my computer whenever it did an update, and the whole file was corrupted. So here we go again. Okay, so I listened to this video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to follow along with the script, and I'm going to want to take this script in chunks so I don't have to match her for the full length of the video. So let's do that. Okay, there's a nice pause and transition whenever she's getting out of the car. So let's go over to the script and we'll break the script there. And keep going. So you can sell your car for cash and we'll be with you within 24 hours to come and pick it up. The second option is you can list your car with us. We're gonna work with 55,000 buyers to get the best, best maximum price. Okay, so I could split up the first option and the second option, but for continuity's sake and to make sure that it still has a nice flow, I'll try to piece those two together in one go. And then we also heard that she had a little flub whenever she was speaking. And this is obviously a transcribed script because it shows the flub in the script as well. So she messed up on the best. So it says the best, best maximum price. Obviously, your client does not want you to also flub the word. So we're going to delete that extra word to get the best maximum price. And I'll just tell you what I ended up doing yesterday. I was playing around with it, trying to find the best way to match up with her words. Originally, I thought that I would take my time on saying to get the best maximum price and slow that down so then we end the sentence at the same time. But you could see that her mouth was moving when I wasn't speaking because I slowed it down a bit. So what I actually ended up doing, so my mouth lines up with hers as closely and as, yeah, I, I guess as closely as I could get it, I ended up adding a word, absolute, absolute, okay. So whenever she's going the best, best maximum price, I'm saying the absolute best maximum price. And then you don't even realize that she flubbed anymore. Bingo. Okay. Like I said, because I did this yesterday, I ended up leaving this last chunk down here. So I broke the script up into three chunks. So we'll take it in bite-sized pieces. So what you're going to want to do now after you've separated the script and you're going to take it in chunks is... You're going to read along with the script as she's speaking. Don't pay attention to the video. Like, just do it by ear and try to speak at the same time that she's speaking. And it's a, like, get that echo as close as you can and just do that over and over again so you can start getting the familiarity of the words in your mouth. 
Now, once that feels kind of comfortable, you're going to start trying to look at the video and trying to start committing that script to memory. Okay, so I'm starting to remember the script. I'm saying it along with her. Now I'm going to mute her and I'm going to play that section over and over again so I can start to find my emotion in it without having to try and mimic her exact inflection and tone and to make sure that as I'm speaking, I know I'm lining up with her mouth. <clears throat> okay, so that's pretty close. Let's record it this time. And if you've seen my other uh, King audio to video video here on YouTube, you're going to find that I'm going to do this a little bit differently. Uh, in those other videos, it's really just more of a timing or if words are coming up on the screen and the pacing of it is very consistent and natural because that's how it's written. When um, we're speaking naturally, we have a much more spontaneous cadence and musicality to the way that we speak. Uh, even listening to me right now, as I'm finding the words that I want to say, you're going to notice that there's like this fluctuation in the pace that I'm speaking. So that's how she's speaking. And it's more important for me to sync to her than it is to give myself an easier time when I'm editing on the back end. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press play and I'm going to play that loop over and over again until I feel like I have it as opposed to trying to make sure that my recording is going to line up as closely as possible to make editing easier. Let's hope that makes sense to you. Okay. <clears throat> I think that was pretty spot on. Let's keep moving along. Okay, so now we're going to start that process from the top with the second section that we've identified. Now, this is like level two. It's a little bit trickier because she has that flub at the last end of it. And I'm going to have to make sure that, you know the added word is going to make everything look more natural. So let's go ahead with it. <clears throat> Turn the volume on. I think that was good. Okay, moving on. Last section. So on this last leg of the script, she really relaxed into what she was saying and was connected with what she was saying, which means that she has more of that spontaneous breath and pacing and cadence. So, uh, so on this one, I really want to align with her energy just because there's some fluctuations in the pacing itself. Okay, now turning her off. Either way is a full concierge service. And the best thing is there's no hidden fees or penalties. You can click. Okay, so on that one, like with the shake of her head, she's got a little attitude. So I would took that one a little too happy and it didn't look quite right whenever it was coming out of my mouth. So pay attention to the energy. Bingo, bango, bongo. Okay. And here is the fun part. We're going to turn up her volume and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the two spaces at the beginning of my recording so I have time to hit play here and then go over to the video and hit play on the video and know that it's going to line up on time. And I'm going to pay attention to when she starts speaking and kind of eyeball it and, you know, wriggle it into place. My car watcher was crazy. She starts speaking before she hits a second, so I'm going to bring it to 0.75 seconds of when I'm going to start speaking. My car auction was created by car enthusiasts that enables you to sell your car in the comfort of your own home without having to go to a dealership. All right, so I hope you see what I've done. I leave two seconds at the very beginning, and then uh, I started it after that two second mark. That's basically like the zero second mark, and then I, you know, adjusted it to exactly when she starts speaking. So we're going to do the same exact thing with uh, the next line. And we're going to make sure that we give ourselves two full seconds of a running start into it. So that's what this is right here. After we get the take that we want, then we'll start marrying each of the sections together. So what I'm deciding is this 14 mark is going to equal my zero. This 12 second mark is going to equal my zero. Options. The first option is you can sell your car for cash. Yeah, I started... 
a little early, so let's add some space right there. So obviously the spaces that I'm adding is not where it's going to land officially, but what I'm doing is just trying to find a clip that aligns directly with her mouth. So now we're going to turn off her volume and just see how my words line up. You know, that actually lined up perfectly. So on to the final stretch. Thank God. Um, we're going to do the same thing. Turn on the volume. This is just a rinse and repeat. Now for the last leg of the journey, we are almost there guys. We're going to sew each individual part together. So I hope you're starting to see the pattern. Whenever it comes to time matching, it's a like long massage process. Like you're starting big with, you know, you break it up into sections that you can handle and manage. You start big and then you slowly start to refine it down or find it down or find it down. So now that we have each section and we know that the words will line up perfectly, we're going to start to sew the whole piece together. So what I'm going to do is I already know this first part is already lined up with the start of the video. So once we get over here, I'm probably just going to go ahead and delete you know, a chunk of this because I know that there's too much space and we're going to focus our energies on this 14 to 16 second mark to make sure that it's going to line up with the video. So from the top. Okay. So I was just a hair fast or started a hair too soon. So we're going to, I want to say it was probably this far ahead. So we're going to copy that and just add that extra little space. Perfect. Okay, so I think that's everything. Let's watch it from the tippy top and see how it goes. You can change your mind and you don't want to sell your car. Then you don't need to. You don't pay anything. So I encourage you to click on... Perfecto. Okay. Now what we're going to do is... Right at that two second mark, I'm going to delete it so the client is not confused as to why there's a two second delay between that and the video. And then I'm just gonna go through and clean it up, clean up the breaths, clean up any weird sounds, and send it to the land of forgotten breaths. Well, that was everything uh, to show you about that. Kind of a longer video, but hopefully that helps. I know that it gets a little bit complicated, but really having that structure helps. So. Yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. Subscribe, like, comment, whatever. Ask me questions if you have any. I know that everything was kind of jarbled today. So if anything was unclear, just let me know and I'll see if I can make it more clear. Bye.